Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video. So today, I'm hoping everyone's having a good day of course, because, yeah, hopefully you're all doing good. But today, this was actually a commented idea as well, so we're going to be making an asteroid or a comet hit the Earth at the speed of light. So I did a video on this way, way back before I even introduced my voice into these videos, like probably late or yeah uh mid 2016 like august september times but yeah probably none of you guys have seen that i'll probably put the original video in the comments or at the end screen annotation things but yeah today we're gonna be doing it here so the comment literally said so let's get up here so where was it um bear with me so um where is it um <laughs> oh god damn it i can't see it i literally just read it and it's gone yeah, but the comment said, what if a large comet hit the Earth at the speed of light? So, okay, this will be pretty interesting. Yeah, do what happened if a huge comet hit Earth at speed of light. So there we are. So it was on the Uran or the Uranus. Uh, why am I saying it wrong? The Uranus comet or the Uranus's rings video. So yeah, let's do your request. So let's get this done. So a large comet, you say? Okay. So the largest I would say a comet would be is basically before it would become a large enough to basically be a, a size of a moon. So probably the largest comet I could probably think of would be about about 300 kilometers. I want to say. Okay, that's too big. 200. Oh yes, this is a very large comet here. So a comet, not comment. All right, so let's do this, and hopefully it's on an impact course with Earth. So please be on an impact. Is it? Um, okay, it's escaping Earth. Damn it. Okay. Okay, so we've got to do this, so we've got to um, load this up, so let's make sure we are perfectly in line with an impact with Earth, so right about here. Now, here we are, so let's hit launch, so let's do that, then press this. Now, hopefully that will um, launch into Earth, so let's slow this down so it doesn't move too far. Now let's hit play, so is it moving? Please say it's moving forward, is it moving forward? Okay, um, it's going the wrong way. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to shoot it from this side. And now it'll work. So let's get it right here. Let's um, launch it so it's all ready to go. Let's hit play. And now it's heading for Earth. So there we are. So what we want to do is we're going to slow down time really, really slow here because it is the speed of light we're talking about here. So yeah, 45 milliseconds a second. So very, very slow. Then what we want to do is we'll heat it up because it will look cool. So let's do 200 maybe. And a little hotter. Let's do uh, about 600, I want to say. So it starts glowing. Yeah, there we are. That's a little more interesting to look at. Then we want to make it about, I think we make it 250 actually. Okay, there we are, so it's a massive, massive comet there. Now, let the magic begin. So, let's um, pull this, oh, I need to pull it to light speed as well, whoops. So let's have a quick look on Earth as well, just see how large this thing is. So, if you were standing on Earth, you would see, where is it? Where's that comet gone? Comet? Where, where is it at? <laughs> yeah, damn it. Um, Okay, there it is. Okay, so you can see the, just about the glow, okay. So it is right about, can I see, can we Can we even see it from here? Um, labels, maybe. No, I can't see it, actually, wow, okay. Wait, are we, it says right about there, so the best view I can get is there. So you definitely would see it from the Earth's surface here. So let's, um, come on, try and get round. Come on, a little further. Whereabouts is it? So you would see that in the sky. So yeah, you would definitely see it from the Earth's surface. So that's, that'd be pretty scary. But anyways, velocity, let's put it up to one light speed. Now, here's the good bit. So let's just call it um, big, big, yes, yeah, call it big comet. All right, there we are. So now let's try this. So let's slow it down even more. Let's hit play. And now we are moving at the speed of light, as you can see there, one light speed. So. This is going to get crazy. So please say it isn't a miss. Okay, it looks like we're going to crash into Africa. It looks like Asia, Africa area. Wait, it's not going to hit. Okay, let's make Earth move up slightly. So let's do that. All right, there we are. So it, it looked like it was going to miss. So let's continue. So it looks like it's going to crash into Africa here. Okay, there we are. So at the speed of light. Okay, so let's watch this um, all slow. Let's turn off the labels. And there we are. The speed of light hitting Earth on a very, very large comet. Whoa, look at that. No way, no, I don't believe that. There's no way a little comet like that would make a massive chunk that large come out of Earth, but there you go, I guess that was what would happen in Universe Sandbox if you tried, so, wow, that was crazy. Look at the size of these. 
These are massive. These are huge fragments. Like we can compare it to Ganymede, the largest moon. Look at that. They're almost the size of Ganymede, some of these. Wow, well, that, that was a huge impact on Earth. So, the explosion hasn't really happened yet. So, let's speed it up a little more. And here we go. It's all starting to um, heat up now. So, there we are. So, it's knocked, Earth's on it. it's knocked Earth on its axis a bit as well, it looks like. So, let's have a look. And this is all in... This all happened in seconds as well. Like, that is crazy. But there we are. It's completely knocked Earth out of its rotation, so as we can see, all of the oceans have just been evaporated by the intense heat of this. But it doesn't seem like the Earth's heating up. Like, if this did happen, it would go up to like 4,000 degrees probably. So there we are. So the whole Earth is now half vol or half lava. So yeah, that's a little unrealistic. We're going to ramp it up to about 4,000 degrees because it, that was probably what would happen. So. Yeah, that impact, that massive, because it was light speed, that massive smash into the Earth would have made so much, like, friction and, yeah, the impact force definitely would have heated the Earth up. I don't know why. Every time, every update, it changes what it does. It's weird because, yeah, logic. But you got to remember, this game is an alpha build, so obviously it's not complete yet, but I'm still pretty impressed with what it simulates. So we can try it again. So let's, um, um what's it, open up a new solar system here. So let's load in. Let's go back to Earth, and now, oh, what did I press there? Earth, go to Earth. All right, now let's zoom in. Let's slow down time again. All right, very, very slow. We want it in milliseconds here, or minutes, okay. And let's get a, another random asteroid. Okay, let's try to have a normal sized asteroid today, so, or this time, so there we are. Now, what we want to do is, let's make it, um, let's make it hot again, so it looks cool, 700 this time. So it's warmed up. Let's just do 2000s. I think that'll look more intimidating. So 2000 degrees. There we are. It's just like a burning rock in the sky now. It looks amazing. So there we go. Now let's also make it the speed of light like that. And it basically just smashed into earth. I didn't realise I had it. Um, I didn't realise it wasn't paused. Okay, but there we are. So it did it again. Okay, interesting. So it doesn't seem... It definitely wouldn't do that. The impact force would definitely make it a lot hotter like maybe 400 like it definitely would evaporate all of the oceans like this like maybe this is more realistic maybe something like that so half the earth gets completely damaged by that impact and then yeah this is all just completely messed up here but okay let's try it let's um to prove the see if it does it again let's actually throw a small moon into it because this could one this could have happened at some point like the the theory on how the moon was formed with the Theia, the planet called Theia, which hit Earth, that could have made a difference. Okay, so let's try that. Okay, it doesn't warm up Earth. Why is it not warming Earth up? It should be warming Earth up. See, in older updates of the game, it did warm up Earth. See, why has it got snow there? <laughs> snow wouldn't be there. You can still see the remains of the snow. If I disable climate, would that change anything? So it should be going up to like 4,000 degrees like that. That's what should happen. Well, there you go, guys. Can't really do much better than that for this video because... Yeah, but we'll do it one more time for good luck. How about that? So, let's do this one more time. Because if you saw the old video, I'll definitely put a um, link to it in the comments or something. You can, you'll definitely see it. The whole Earth got heated up from the impact. But in this update of the game, it doesn't seem to do that anymore. So, let's do it again. So, let's put it there. And now, let's make it the speed of light. So, velocity, light speed 1, like that. And now, let's slow down time really, really slow again. So, about 10... Uh, why is it escaping Earth? Okay, let's quickly do some magic. Let's put Earth there. Okay, so now it's going to crash near America. And there we go. So is that going to do anything? That just hit Earth at the speed of light. Okay, so speed up time again. And Earth's temperature should be warming up. So let's do it manually to get it a little more realistic. So, yeah, the temperature of Earth would definitely be warming up from this impact. Because that is a massive strike. At, like, speed of light, you got to remember, is... I, think, I don't know what it is. Is it like over 3 million miles per hour? Someone correct me on that. We can see how much light speed actually is. Wait, just quickly pause this. Okay, so one light speed is... Let's have a look. How many kilometers a second? So, yeah, that's pretty good. Kilometers an hour. Okay, so... what? What is that over a trillion? Wait, um... 100,000, 10,000, 100,000, million... Okay, that's 1 billion kilometers an hour light speed. 1 billion, I think that was. So... Crazy, crazy stuff there. Wow. Okay, let's just put it back to zero. Or nine, okay. So, there we are. So, it's continually increase its temperature because that's what would happen here. So, 200 degrees. Why has Earth gone green again? 
climate is uh, turned off. So there we are. So as you can see, the whole Earth has pretty much been striked by this very heavily. Now it's increased increase the temperature even more. Come on, increase. There we go. Oh, there we are. That's what should happen. They're a little more slowed down, but there we go. That That's what would happen if Earth got hit by a light speed asteroid. So it heats up. No, no, but this is all happening in minutes. Like, this pretty much happened instantly. So there we are. And then it would have heated up even more to that. 4,000. 4,000. There we are. So something like that. And then poor Earth would have definitely been fried from that. And then its orbit would have also been ruined. So... Yeah, not too good. It's been knocked out of its original orbit, as you can see here, because I did drag it around and change it a bit. But yeah, there we are. So poor Earth has been smashed and just completely destroyed by that. So can we even see the crater? Where did it... The asteroid landed near somewhere there. Wait, can we get a um, flashlight mode on, please? Okay, the impact marks disappeared. Very, very peculiar, that. But yeah, there we go. So that is it for this video. Hopefully that didn't... Oh, I didn't like... Um, hang on a bit just to get the video longer i don't know so yeah there we are that is it for this video now so hopefully you guys all enjoyed and wow earth just got launched out completely so yeah hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like if you did subscribe if you're new because yeah subscriber counts going up crazy so make sure you join us on the journey to 500 subs be very cool and should i do a live stream or q a at 500 please tell me guys like would that be a good idea live stream at 500 maybe i don't know so yeah that is that so um yeah Make sure you guys all have a good day, like I said earlier, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video, so goodbye.